Hi friends and welcome back. So guys, I am sitting out to prepare our November cash budget. Now our cash budget just basically means these are set categories that we have a set budget for and we have determined that we will spend actual cash in these categories. So for instance, uh, we may say that our budget for groceries is 400. We get paid every two weeks. So at the top of the month, I will take out 200 for the first two weeks. And then at the end, I will take out 200 for the last two weeks. And we aim to stay within that said budget. Now that does not mean that we don't spend cash in all other categories. For instance, our utility bills, our mortgage, um, insurance payments and things like that. We are actually spending cash. We're not putting that amount on credit cards or anything like that. It's just that that money remains in the bank account and we simply just slot our debit card, write a check, or do an online transfer to cover those expenses. So that is really what the basis of the cash budget is. Again, we don't have any credit cards um, that we're using to purchase um, said items, groceries, auto gas, um, fun money, etc. It's all done in cash. So actual cash in hand, this prevents us from going over budget um, because if we only have 200 for groceries, well, I can only spend what I have in my wallet for groceries. I can't spend $205 because all I have is 200, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the gif of what our cash budget entails. Um, and so on. I know sometimes it, it may be a little confusing if you're just kind of getting into this whole world of budgeting and doing a cash base um, budget or cash envelope system. It can be a little overwhelming and confusing, especially if you have always been used to either slotting your debit card to cover expenses or even maybe using a credit card or writing checks, etc. It's I can understand how it can be confusing. However, to keep it very simple, these are just categories that we have determined that it is best for us to have actual cash in hand in our wallet, on our person, when we go out to um, purchase said items, again, groceries, auto gas, or even pay for certain services, getting nails and hair done, pet care, etc. It's just best for us to have cash. This helps us to stay on budget and not overspend in said categories. So, enough chapping. I'm going to go ahead and get started on writing everything out. Um, and then I will come back and explain my numbers to you guys. So let's get going. So that's all done. I calculated and added everything up and we're at 2,159 bucks to be exact. So for groceries this month, I am budgeting out 300. That should definitely cover um, any monthly groceries that we need. Of course, I have a stock freezer as well as a pantry, but with Thanksgiving coming up, that should cover anything special that I may decide to do, which I don't know what I'm going to do. I have, um, I probably have two or three roasts in the freezer, so I will probably just do a roast in a slow cooker um, and then pick up any sides that we may not have that we may want, which would typically be doing potato salad, um, probably some dirty rice and some steamed vegetables or a mix of um, like a vegetable melody or something. I don't know. So we still got to figure that life out because we don't even know what we're doing for Thanksgiving, but that's the story within itself. Um, gas, we're budgeting out 400 the hubby, I'm giving him 200 for uh, blow money. He needs, to, well, he's going to be getting some new shoes. So I know my hubby, he's going to probably go between Ross and Marshalls. $100, he should be able to find two, um, two pairs of shoes with that. But he also needs to get some new work pants. So I told him that I'm just going to budget in 200 and he does what he does. Now, if he decides to spend the entire 200 and get, you know, two or three, four or five, whatever pair of shoes, that's on him. My husband is definitely a shoe guy. 
and he will spend all his money on shoes if allowed to. So nonetheless, he needs shoes, but he also needs some more work pants. So that is that. Um, hair and nails 285 that covers um, the girls as well as the guys. The guys get their haircuts, beard, trim, and all that. Me and the girls get our hair done and nails as well as pedicures. Now, I don't expect for us to be getting our hair done um, throughout November. We just got our hair done, me and Madison. Um, Jada, again, she's on her whole natural kick, so she's been doing her own, um, her own hair and all that stuff there. But I will still budget that in and... Per paycheck, depending on where we're at, what's going on, and whether or not we need to add in, I will actually do a whole $285 for the month. So that is that. Lola will be $54 for the month. Clothing for the kiddos. Um, only Mason and Jada are in need of a few pieces. So $200 for that. Family fund, $200. They have, you know, guys, around the end of the year, towards the holiday season, there's always really, really good movies that come out. And we are definitely a movie family. So $200 we could probably end up spending at the movie theaters this month, no lie, or even in the month of December. Um, and then kids' payroll is $120. This is enough to give each one of the kids their set um, commission if they actually complete their chores and all that stuff there. And then $400 for Thanksgiving. I highly doubt that we spend anywhere close to $400. I'm just budgeting that in. Because again, we don't even know for sure what we're going to do. If we're going to travel back to Louisiana to, with, um, to be with my family for Thanksgiving, or if we're going to go to Beaumont to be with my husband's family, or if we're just going to stay home and have um, Thanksgiving here with our family in Houston. So we really don't know what we're doing for Thanksgiving. But if we do travel, this will cover us traveling. Uh, we don't have to pay for hotels or anything like that. This is just gas, miscellaneous. Um, and then also will cover us bringing anything that we've, um, you know, if we go to eat somewhere else, I always like to bring at least drinks um, or maybe some desserts or, you know, some mommy juice, whatever. So this will cover that. But again, I highly, highly doubt that we will spend this amount of money. Um, but we will see. I will also, because this here, this 400, it's, it's been cash flowed all of the month's budget. But honestly, I will probably end up taking some out of the Christmas fund. Um, I don't know, because my husband's talking about going shopping for Black Friday. I'm not about that life. So, I don't know. But anyways, 400 for that. I really highly doubt that we end up um, needing all that. So, a total of $2,159. And now, other that I need to take care of or to do is we have to pay the... Um, the renewal for our flood insurance, which is 400 So I need to make sure that I transfer that money from the savings account into the checking so that they can pull that out. So let me write that out for myself uh, to do. Uh, flood insurance. And we got flood insurance last year um, after Hurricane Harvey and, you know, all that craziness. Um, flood insurance. I just need to transfer it from the savings account. So write myself a note on that. Maddie, give me a second. So, okay, so that is that. So this is our cash flow budget for the month of November. Again, this is just stating the categories that we are going to actually pull cash out uh, per check to cover said budgeted amount. So again, groceries, $150 will probably, well, I'll probably do $200 for that first paycheck um, and then the remaining $100 at the end of the month. That way I can go ahead and catch any sales that may be going on for the holidays and stock up on a few things and so on. So I'll probably do that um, with that first paycheck. But nonetheless, this is our plans for November as far as our cash spending. Um, yeah, so that is that. As always, guys, I thank you so very much for watching. Um, definitely comment down below. Let me know if you have completed your entire budget for November. If you do also include cash categories, um, categories that you have a set budget for, again, groceries, auto gas, pet care, um, personal blow money, etc., that you do pull out or maybe transfer to a different um, checking or savings account and use your debit card or whatever, just, you know, comment down below how exactly do you go about spending in set categories and making sure that you stay within the set budget that you have. Or if you don't budget and you just spend whatever, heck, comment down, um, down below on that as well. As always, guys, thanks so very much. And until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>